Attach. Morning guys, morning, morning. So it's officially our last day in India. So we in Agra. Are you taking photos? We are heading to <laughs> New Delhi later. But first we can't complete this trip without going to the Taj Mahal. So wh where are we going? We're going to Taj Mahal. Left side, left, left side. Left, left side. Yeah. Left, left side. Yeah. Left, left side. Yeah. Yeah. And then? Do photo. Then? 45 minutes. 45 minutes will give you for us to take photos. And for the entry of Taj? Good morning. Myself Raj. And better you can remember my name, Raj from Taj. <laughs> <laughs> He's not the Raj from Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> I'm local from Taj Mahal. Okay, not from Bollywood. Now we are standing on here, which is a place known as a courtyard. There are three entrance gates. You are coming from that gate, which is the gate known as a east gate. According to direction, east gate, and that is known as a VIP gate also. Always VIPs and VIPs they use for entrance from that gate. So that is known as a VIP gate as well. And second gate on the right, there is a west gate. Now it's a normal gate, normal entrance for the people. But those time when they used to like by the royal family, yes, they use always from that side because Agra Fort from here just two kilometers. So they use always they, that gate for them for the entrance. So that time that was very important for them. And this one also gate, but this gate for the building that is known as a north gate, 
and Royal Gate also. Because when the people they enter inside the building, on that time they arrange the ladies on the gate of the top of the gate. Whenever royal families came inside the building, they put on them like a flask on the time of welcome. So they use this gate name is Royal Gate, as well as they call like a welcome gate also for the royal family. This beautiful building complete by the Shah Jahan. He was the fifth Mughal emperor. He built this building complete for his third wife. Shah Jahan got a three wives. First wife, the name of the lady, Sarhandi Begum. She didn't have any children. When you enter from the gate, like east, <coughs> here there's a tomb for the lady. And second one, the lady named Fatih Buri Begum. On the right, there's a tomb just behind the tree. White dome is over there. In the dome, the tomb, like a lady for the first and second, here and there. They didn't give him any children. It's not like an original name for the lady. I told you about that. But I am telling you about the also like an original name for the lady and man. Crown Palace. Crown means Taj Palace in Sahel. And this building known as a symbol of life as well also. Because this beautiful building complete by the king. For the Mumtaz, when she died, after six months he started the foundation of Taj Mahal for the memory of Queen. Guys, so last night, right, we were supposed to be at this area here, but it was closed, police was giving trouble. They so, guns. <laughs> we were somewhere to the back there where I took the photo, I'll post it, right? So, we are the banks of the Yamuna and our the team here, and we are at also the Taj Mahal, right? So, it's time to go.
So I am here with the coordinator of the 71st TIP program. Hi, I'm Shalini Sharma. I'm the coordinator of this group, the 71 No India program, and I'm enjoying very well. They all are very good. Thank you. TIP group, kabi alvida na kena. Bye bye. So that brings an end to our KIP program. Well, for the trainees, everybody else has their valedictory speech, and we are heading home tonight. So we are going back to our hotel in Agra, packing up and heading to New Delhi to catch our flight home. So let's go. Sing, sing, sing. <laughs>
Yeah, uh, so <coughs> I'm gonna lose my voice there. But anyways, we actually on our way back from Agra. We are heading back to New Delhi, and we stopped to get some snacks and some ice cream, also a washroom break. So yeah.